This week's Civil Beat segment takes on the Hawaii State Hospital in Kaneohe. It is notorious for housing some of the worst of the worst offenders in our state. Nathan Eagle here. Welcome from CivilBeat.com. And Nathan, there has been a laundry list of issues plaguing this hospital, particularly safety. It has been for a long time. As long ago as 1991, the U.S. Department of Justice sued the state citing substandard care, leaky buildings, unsafe conditions. The hospital ended up going under federal oversight for the next 13 years. And a lot of the focus has shifted to the workers. Yes, hospital workers have been complaining about problems since 2007. They did again in 2013. And last year, they even uh, former workers filed a lawsuit complaining of almost daily um, attacks by patients. A lot of this, though, goes to the overcrowding issue. <laughs> it's definitely full. Uh, it, the hospital was built for 168 beds. It's at 202 now, and as of this week, it was actually at 203 plus 42 in an overflow unit at a whole separate facility. Wow, so is it time to expand? That's the $150 million question. Uh, the state's new health director, Dr. Jenny Pressler, says yes. Uh, she wants to ask the legislature next session for the funding to build a new facility at the hospital campus. And you are reporting that would include more specialized beds, care, better equipment. Dr. Pressler turns out has a pretty key ally right now. She does. Um, Senator Josh Green, he chaired the investigative committee that looked into the hospital. He wants to request the funding for a new facility. Uh, the math kind of works out to $1 million per bed plus 10% or so for design and planning. Now, you're reporting that the state is also considering another facility that could house people perhaps with some less severe mental issues. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And th but that wasn't the initial intent. It was meant to, to house people with mental illness, but it's kind of become this go-to facility for court-ordered patients with everything from um, brain injury to substance abuse and even schizophrenia. So the end result, though, there are all of these problems. What do we do? Yeah, well, the Department of Health says it's adapting. They're sending some of the dangerous patients to the mainland, and they're improving staff training. That is something, but it sounds like it all boils down to money at the end of the day. How much can the state commit, and how much will it actually do? <laughs> That's an excellent question. Dr. Pressler had uh, an interesting analogy. She said it's kind of like uh, deciding whether or not to put money into your house. You know, if you don't, it could fall down at any time. So. And that'll be your choice if that's the case. So very important. We're going to post a full link to the Civil Beat article on our website. Nathan Eagle, as always, great <laughs> reporting, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.